little bit up. Oh. Hi guys, my name is Simone. And I'm Ricky. And we want to tell you about our new adventure and what we're going to be up to in the next couple of months and all the things we're going to be doing like gutting our yacht, getting it sailing ready and getting ready to, to go sailing, I guess. <laughs> Where are you going? I thought so, Felicia. <laughs> Ricky's camera shy. <laughs> it's kind of weird just talking to a camera. But here it goes. So we've sold our apartment. We've sold one of our cars. Other one's busy getting sold. The plans to go sailing. We're leaving from South Africa. And this is where we are right now. For a while we've been staying with our parents. And um, to save up enough money to actually buy the yacht and fund our sailing. And... Um, yeah, so that's the idea. We're gonna go. We're gonna circumnavigate the world. Uh, the plan is to leave Cape Town. Uh, the boat's currently in Pew, which is just further east along the coast. We'll leave Cape Town and we'll sail down to, well, up to Namibia along the west coast, and then we'll spend some time there, and then leave from Namibia to Saint Helena, and then cross the. Well, obviously, continue crossing the Atlantic to Brazil. either Brazil or the Caribbean obviously just after that and hopefully make our way to Florida to see some of Florida Keys and then also go to Mexico and Hawaii and all those places that we haven't been to yep um, so yeah I've compiled a, a few questions so that you guys can get to know us better and um, it's a bit of random why we chose to go sailing and then basic weird little things that you'd like to know about us so let me start first Okay, so Ricky, how old are you? I'm 27. Still young. Spring chicken. And I'm 24, which is even younger. And we're married. And we're married. <laughs> <laughs> we met in my first year of varsity, second year of varsity. Where? In uh. In like me. <laughs> At a friend party. Yes, and Ricky, Ricky was giving me them eyes. So I went to go chat to him. The rest is history. Yeah, that was how long have you been together? Seven years we've been together. One of them we've been married, and the rest we've been together. Uh -huh. um, what are your hobbies? Hobbies: fishing, flying, sailing, <laughs> doping. <laughs> Which means drinking. <laughs> yeah. Just having a good time with friends. <laughs> okay. Um, and yours? What are my hobbies? I like to horse ride. You like to horse ride? I like to go horse riding. Oh. I like swimming. I like going to the beach. Um, I like scuba diving. I like everything really. Okay. What were your professions before you decided to go sailing? What's your profession? Well, my profession was an aspiring psychologist, but now I decided to change and become an aspiring sailor. But you're a psychologist. You're no. an aspiring psychologist. I'm aspiring because I still need to do my masters. So I did my bachelor's and I did my honors, which in South Africa is post-grad. But in the rest of the world, you don't do honors before you do masters. But in South Africa, you do. So I did my post grad honors. And then I will be doing my masters when we come back from our sailing adventure, if we ever come back. We don't know. Yeah. So I qualified as a mechanical engineer. And um, I've probably worked as an engineer for less than a year. The rest of the time, I started company well I started a company by myself and I started and I joined my brother in, in his company um, and yeah I've pretty much been doing contract work and all of that uh, prior to making the decision to go sailing. Alrighty what animal best represents you and why? Animal that best probably one that eats a lot probably like a cow or something because they graze all day. That, that would definitely be me, but not a cow, a bull, obviously. A milk cow. A milk cow. And I would, an animal that best represents me would be a, what would you think? 
If I was an animal, what would, what would you give me? Probably like a little chihuahua or something like that. Why? Because chihuahua is a cheeky one. I guess I'm a chihuahua because I'm cheeky. <laughs> If you could only take three items with you to a deserted island, what would they be? Three items. Probably a fire starter, a machete, and a bottle of rub. I would take a change. I would take my dog. Thank you. Um, I would take sunglasses <laughs> you're gonna have a styling time at least no i'm joking i would take a tent because you need shelter and uh, ricky would have the, the five starters so i don't need to worry about that um i'd probably take what else did we need did you have your cereal this morning yeah brain did <laughs> i don't know <laughs> let's leave that one out <laughs> If you could have one superpower, what would it be and why? What would yours be? I would like to be invisible. Then you could just go in and out of places without anyone really knowing you're there. I would... Or flying. Yeah, I'd definitely say the flying one. Flying would be cool. Because you Te could travel for free. <laughs> no, teleportation. Teleportation, you don't have to worry about flying cars. <laughs> You don't worry about nothing, you don't and you're in the place, place too, you don't, you and you're in the place like this. <laughs> if you want to be in Egypt, you just do this and you're in Egypt. You don't have to wait 12 hours like on an airplane. Exactly. And you could, like if you're family everywhere, you could be like, I'll be there for the weekend, and then you go visit them for the weekend. If you could time travel, would you go to the future or the past? I'd probably say go to the past. You can do it again and you can do it better second time around. It's a tricky one because you kind of want to see what happens in the future but you want to go to the past because you, there's probably a few things that you want to change. Okay. I don't know, it's a tricky one. I'd maybe say the past. I don't know, it's a tricky one. What is the craziest thing you have ever done? The craziest thing I've ever done? I don't know, what's yours? Definitely going sailing. <laughs> sailing, okay. That would be the craziest thing I'm going to be doing. <laughs> uh, when, I was, when I was busy doing my pilot's license, we flew back and we got caught in a squall and some bad weather. That was, that was probably the worst. What is home to you? Home is where the anchor drops. That was my saying. That's <laughs> why <laughs> I put that question there. Your home is going to be where the anchor drops. <laughs> if you could master one skill you don't have right now, what would it be? Master one skill. How to make money a lot faster. <laughs> Mine would probably be holding my breath for longer. Because I think I'm eventually going to need to know that. So, so I could do more free diving. I will definitely do like more that. of that now. If you could speak another language, what would it be and why? Another language? I'd probably say Spanish. Because there's a lot of people that speak Spanish. That would be a plus. I would like to speak Portuguese because Ricky and his family are Portuguese and they always talk crap about me at the dinner table and I don't know what they're saying. <laughs> so, not just joking them. <laughs> Would you rather be a jack of all trades or a master of one? Jack of all trades, definitely. Hands down. Um, I don't know. Probably a master of one. Would be me. Yeah. I'm not really a jack of all trades person. Um, so, why did we choose to go sailing? Oh, that's a good one. And how did we come to this conclusion of going sailing? Okay, in Ricky's second year of university, he found a few 
for one person, specific couple that are from America? I think. Yeah, they're American, yeah. They're on a Torres 44 catamaran. And they circumnavigated the world and they did a documentary, not really a documentary, like a little slideshow video about their, about their travels. And I was like, wow. They, you always want to travel the world and you want to see it in different aspects. And that, that just makes sense. You've got everything you want with you all the time and you're getting to see pretty much the whole world. So I, ever since then, I always thought of it, I want to do that one day. I didn't think it would be seven years later that we, or six years or so later that we'd say we go going sailing um, and obviously you start with the idea, you start looking at it and you look at the price of what catamarans or what monos cost, the, it's phenomenal. So obviously you've got to go with budget and that and, um, and you've got to go according to that so we went a lot smaller, a lot cheaper and um, yeah we're making it happen. I think they definitely installed the seed in us. So, if you guys ever watch this video, thank you so much. Well, they don't know. We don't really know the couple's names, do we? Now, so we're gonna we have to watch the video. But we will find out, and we'll probably give it to you guys. Um, yeah. So Ricky told me about it, and I watched it. To me, it was never like really a thing that could happen until a couple of months ago. We'd watch occasional YouTubers, you know, sailing, and be like, "Oh, that's really cool." But we're so focused on you know finishing our degrees and getting work and living that everyday normal yeah. eight to five lifestyle and um, we were just relaxing chilling one day um, on the beach and we said well why don't we make it happen why do we have to conform to society norms and why don't we just see what we can find? If, if we get a yacht that's, that's well priced, maybe it's a sign that we should do it. Yeah. So we did, and we found a yacht that was well priced, and everything just happened to be perfect in the way that we wanted it to be, so... Yeah, the transaction so, went smooth, yeah. everything went smooth. So it was our little sign that maybe that's what we should be doing, and that's how we came to the conclusion. Um, what else do we have? How do your families feel about sailing? So, I am Portuguese and um, although my forefathers long, long ago might have been the conquerors of the world, my family don't know anything about sailing. They merely got small boats and kind of go out to sea every once in a blue moon. So, for them it, it was kind of a, a shock thingy understanding you know you're gonna cross oceans you're gonna to go to you're not always gonna be in these beautiful places all the time you're gonna to have to sail to do some serious sailing at times and um, so I think that that made them apprehensive but so far they've been they've been quite supportive I think yeah my family's been very supportive um, they they do it I'm short so we haven't really had any struggles of parents you know saying or any family members saying oh no you shouldn't do that they are some of them might not like it but they they've grown accustomed to the idea of yeah. sailing um aren't you afraid of pirates I, I think if you if you plan on sailing um, there's a number of things you should take into consideration there. be safe be smart um i don't think Pirates are play such a major thing in the sense to stop living your dreams because there are pirates somewhere in the world. I mean, there's crime everywhere in the world. So, are you really going to go out of your house just because there's no crime? I don't think so. These pirates will be as cautious as we possibly can and remain out of the routes that they particularly are. And yeah. And that's all the questions I have. Are you scared of pirates? No, I'm not scared of pirates. Simone's a pirate as well. Well, that's all the questions that I've came yeah. across um, and got to know a little bit about it. If there's anything else you'd like to know and any questions you have, leave a comment down below and we'll reply to you. Or drop us a mail. Or drop us a mail, whatever you feel comfortable doing. At svladyafrica at gmail.com And stay tuned for episode two that is coming out pretty soon.